Virgo, welcome back to the Elise Illuminator for your mid month. How is everyone doing? So let's see, I have just some quick announcement. I just want you to be aware that there are scammers active, especially on Instagram, pretending to be me. I uh, just want you to know that the only way to book any type of reading with me is through my official website. No Instagram, no DM, no WhatsApp, okay? So these are all fake scammers, so be mindful. And I'm also introducing a membership on this channel. So if you want to be, um, you know, if you are purchasing the extended readings and you don't want to go through the hustle of, you know, purchasing them each time on my website, you can now become a member. All the information will be down in the description box below this video. So let's see what is going on. I kept on getting the tower when I was pre-meditating and shuffling on your uh, energy. So there might be a lot of things that are now crumbling a little bit down or you are coming to the realization that some people have been very toxic in your life and that you need to be putting them outside. All right. So let's see. We've got the eight of wands coming out so that is a lot of fast communication that is fast moving forward after being presented with a lot of challenges and obstacles now things are moving forward in your life all right so there's a lot of fast moving energy communication could be with lover with a, with a specific lover in your life as well making plans all right that's also what i'm picking up on and the nine of wands okay so there might be just too much information coming at you like a lot of people are trying to get your attention grab your attention and you needing to kind of like scheme through all of these messages or all of these energies that are being bombarded within uh, upon you and needing to come closer to yourself this is some type of inner devotion that you are being asked to do when you are channeling your own energy when you are protecting your energy and when you are you know when you are being presented with a lot of challenges or obstacles that you do you know do not deplete yourself but take strength from your core in order to proceed forward all right so there's definitely a line here let's see where this is going don't overwork yourself is also what i'm hearing you got the chariot all right that's good that's really good some of you may be dealing with a cancer uh, there might be a lot of plants being made I, I believe i just said that right like you're making a lot of plans towards your future there might be some type of move that you are planning or that you have just gone on all right this could, could be some type of spiritual journey uh, there could be some type of energy coming through to you where you need to go towards a spiritual place in the world that is calling you all right that, that might be a part of your spiritual journey or spiritual path all right that's really what i'm picking up on um, let's see oh ace of cups okay i have to say and i've been saying it in every reading but there are so many aces in all the readings which is absolutely gorgeous to see because we've just had like a very difficult eclipse season we got a lot of crazy super moons we got a lot of retrograde so a lot of things went just like up and down and like from left to right uh some type of roller coaster energy virgo and every reading has been having aces all right and you are the first one or maybe the second one that had like an ace of cups I believe it was also in the Cancerian reading. So if you are dealing with a cancer or you have heavy cancer in your chart, you may want to look at that reading as well. But this is new love. This is you focusing on yourself, um, you know, being very grateful for all the things that are going on, emotionally feeling open to to feel joyful again. To, after a period of stress or after a period of a lot of, a lot of energy just like coming at you you knew exactly how to release that energy how to protect your energy or cleanse your energy and get back to your inner devotion all right i love that i really love this energy from you what was this oh yeah two of pentacles if it wants to come out it will so some of you may have new opportunities in love coming your way Oh, okay, you want to come out seven of pentacles in the heart of your reading. 
The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness, that's pretty, pretty energy here. Divine Wisdom, which is also a card that a lot of the signs are getting at this point. And the High Priestess. Okay. Wow, and the moon child. You got a lot of major arcanas, extra major arcanas as well. All right, these are too much. You got the ace of wands, the ten of wands, the queen of swords, and the moon child. I'm going to put them back in and just ask for one specific energy before it gets too complicated. Okay, the fool. See, you're getting a lot of major arcanas. Bottom of the deck is the devil card. I do feel like your life has been a little bit on hold maybe in the past all right you still are in this energy of like i need to wait before making any final decision in, in my life and i do feel like there are a lot of toxic vibrations or toxic energies that are trying to keep you you know at one place do not get out of your comfort zone and now is the time for you to realize what these energies are and to release those energies. I do feel like you are very much concentrated on building yourself up, on investing in yourself. I feel like there is a lot of energy uh, coming towards you or you focusing your energy within yourself i keep on getting that message i don't know what it is some of you may be going on some type of retreat and some type of cleansing type of energy where you're just focusing a lot of your energy on yourself this is fully invested in your own life in your own plans and not allowing other people to be you know navigating your life for you so this is definitely a very beautiful energy see we've got the five of wands these two cards kept on coming out for your shuffle as well so there are a lot of people that are not really agreeing with your style or they're not really agreeing with the way that you are investing in yourself or buying something for yourself there is something that you're doing for yourself that not everyone is on board with and these are people that are trying to cause some type of conflict in your life i'm hearing family could be the issue or it could be some type of competitive energy that is trying to keep you bound to a specific space place person whatsoever house whatever it is so i do feel like there is a huge breakthrough coming for you and you've been very patient for this all right the seven of pentacles is showing me that you've been really you know taking energy from your from yourself like from the from your own roots as well as from the earth like there must be a lot of grounding energy that you've been doing where you're just like keeping your boat two feet firmly on the ground right like that's what i'm picking up like i don't know it's a very strong energy i don't see the strength card but i feel it in my energy um i'm hearing hematite is a very good stone for you especially if you want to ground yourself it's a very heavy stone even if it's a small thing it's very heavy and it's really keeping you grounded so if you feel sometimes like you need a little bit of extra push with that a hematite stone could definitely be it uh, it's connected to the root chakra so you know if you've been doing a lot of healing for the root chakra that's also a good stone for you but anyway uh yeah the wheel of fortune this is a lucky breakthrough this is a you know a change in events a change in your direction and getting rid of all piled up bad karma this is you how do i say it like this is in dutch for anyone who's uh who, who is a dutch year uh it's in losse funk karma it's like you 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 pay you paid your karma you paid your dues that's what it is and with that paying of due your dues you are now evolving to a much higher state of consciousness you got the divine wisdom and the high priestess back to back i mean like I'll get scared of you, Virgo. Like seriously, like you are bossing up when it comes to your psychic energy, when it comes to your intuition, when it comes to your knowledge. Uh, you might be receiving messages or information in regards to topics or in regards to anything in your life that you've never really read about, but you know the answers, right? Like you know exactly why 
uh, why some type of uh, mechanic work that way so this is this is always like a good confirmation that you have some type of very strong spirit guide around you that is teaching you and that is leveling you up Virgo absolutely gorgeous energy and I do feel like you are very grounded all right the, the hematite stone is just an extra push for you to not let yourself you know get distracted because there is a devil lurking here I, I don't see the I don't see the strength card where you can you know poke it down uh, but I do see you being very much aware of who to talk to who not to talk to because you got a spirit guide and it's most likely coming from your left all right on the left side you you may hear like um, your earring or there is like an ear popping is what I'm getting through for you uh, but whatever it is you are completely aware of its energy and if, if, if not now it's going to happen <sighs> what is this all about uh, and then we have the full card so this is you starting off a brand new journey in your life and you are very confident in this new direction because you got a lot of signs from the universe the wheel of fortune is also telling you that there are a lot of signs you are expanding you're expanding your uh, vision you're expanding your money uh, maybe not completely your money but you know where to invest in and what not right so there's a lot of expansion there's a lot of growth there is a lot of money coming your way success in money and also in success in new ventures coming your way when it comes to love i do see like someone communicating with you and i do feel like you have this energy around you like you want to take things slowly right like you 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 are someone that takes things slowly but um, there might be someone on your mind or there might be new energy new love coming your way and you're taking a little bit of a hands-up approach because you first want to know like a confirmation whether this is the real deal or not but internally within your heart you know that this love is a real deal either it's coming your way or you're already involved with it if you're dealing with someone there could be a lot of telepathic communication going on in the future where you're going to be having like a very high-end communication with this individual like um I do feel like a very spiritual and telepathic communication that might be going on between you and this individual. All right. Hmm. All right. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. What are the messages for Virgo, please? What are the messages for Virgo, please? Wow. Longing for home. Ciao Bella. If any Italian that's watching this, I mean like, it's coming to Rome, baby. Longing for home, belonging the original light worker. So yeah, some of you are, like I said, from the get go, there is a place that you really want to go. This is a very spiritual place. It could be somewhere by the beach, by the water, somewhere where you can cleanse yourself. That is really calling you in. And this is your confirmation that you're being called to go home. All right, you're being called to go to, to this place in order to reinvent yourself or to develop more skills or to expand yourself, expand your mind, expand your, um, ideas in order to create more abundance in your life right it says what or who is triggering you so that devil is definitely a trigger point but i do feel like the more you tune inwards the more you close yourself a little bit off because the nine of wands is also that energy where you close yourself a little bit off from uh, the impulses of outside and due to that you are able to outcast this devil with the five of wands let's see oh you got no wait and postpone so maybe the timing has not come to you yet like you have that vision you have that goal you, you know what it is that you want to achieve but with the seven of pentacles and there's no card and then the wheel of fortune coming afterwards it feels like the you know when when you have that mechanic just going click 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 it's like 
you still need to wait for that final click to go through. And until then, you, you are being asked to take a step back, all right? It says, for the time being, say no, and could also be indicating the devil. So if the devil, whomever that is, is trying to lure you in, it could be even an energy that gets you upset, that gets you angry, that gets you feeling like you don't have control over yourself or your life or your decisions. That's an energy that you need to be, you know, pushing out, all right? Because you are right on your path. Absolutely. Everything that is going on outside of you, let it be outside of you. It ain't your problem. Do not try to fix it. Absolutely. One more or two more. Where are you being called to journey? Two. Play, have fun, celebrate, and don't be so serious. See? There is a lot of fun that you may have been missing out in your life because you've been so tuning into yourself and, you know, going through a lot of planning for yourself with the Seven of Pentacles, planning your future, planning your life, planning like a long-term goal for yourself that you may have been too serious about it and you need to be loosened up a little bit, all right? In the extended, I'm going to go a little bit more deeper as well in, into love because I'm not getting too much energies of it. It's just like a little bit on the sideline, but it's not really, you know, all up in your face type of energy. Okay. Gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive it. I love it. Definitely, the Wheel of Fortune is definitely a gift. The Ace of Cups is a gift, an opportunity coming from the universe. And we have Breathe. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. I need to breathe too. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So maybe these are also your own patterns, this being in conflict with yourself and getting very obsessive with your own conflict that you're running internally. And that's something that you may need to release before moving to the next round so that you learn the lesson that, that is the wheel of fortune with the karma. Clear intentions. So make sure that your intentions are clear and that your intentions are pure. Oh gosh, you got focus intention. <laughs> That's so crazy. Look at that. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions. Focus on your target and you will make your mark. Okay, there you go, Diana. <laughs> Dirty Diana. Okay, love that song, by the way. But anyway, that might be a... That might be a power boost song. I mean, like, oh my God, I am so going to listen to that song. Matter of fact, I'm going to put them on the list of the list illuminator at the Spotify list. So you can go ahead and uh, watch that playlist as well. But yeah, uh, focus your intention on what it is that you want to achieve and go at it with unwavering thoughts. Okay. And you will mark it. Okay, you will get your mark. So very happy with this reading. I really do hope that it gave you the clarity as it is a very positive reading, except for this type of energy, but you know how to handle it. And that's what it is most important. Okay, so if you are interested in the extended, the individual extenders are on the website in the link in the description box below or somewhere here in the corner, or you can get a member on my channel and all the information on how to join it is also in the description box below. And I catch you soon. Bye.